The Replacements. Yes. <laughs> Kiss me on the bus. Quizzes me about music. Come on, Cindy. Yes. I am super excited to have Cindy Lawson as the guest host. And now I'm going to start doing a look. Just, I asked you to pick out a few songs that mm -hmm. we should play. It didn't have to relate to the theme. But first, uh, and we've had you on the show before. Yes. 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 In and the winter time, I remember. Yeah. The warm studio feels good in January. Yeah. It feels a little different in July. <laughs> it's a little toasty in here. But yeah, tell folks just a little bit. You, Cindy Lawson, as as sort of your solo stuff you've been playing recently. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, for the last couple of years. Yep. But you have a history that goes back to the clams, that goes back to... So just in a... Yeah. Well, I would say um, in 1985 in Minneapolis, um, uh, I started an all-female band called the Clams. At the time, uh, Tet Noir uh, were, were a big inspiration in that they were an all-female yeah. band and they were out there and they were doing it unapologetically. Yeah. Um, while I had the ad in the music papers, um, I got a call from Rachel Olson, now on a Vogue, and, um, she called me up just to say that we should really get to know each other because she had an all-female band, too, that was going to play the yeah. uptown. A um, couple years later, uh, so that was 85, and then I want to say 86 was maybe Babes in Toyland, 87 Zuzu's Petals, maybe earlier, not sure. Um, and, uh, yeah. I, I uh, definitely want to honor Lori Lindine, so I have a song from, um, from one of their albums that Colleen Elwood actually suggested because it has Lori laughing at the end. Oh, very nice. And it's called Dork Magnet. Um, For folks who are listening and might not know Lori yeah. Lindine, maybe we'll just let them know that. Yeah, Lori Lindine. Uh, an amazing writer, teacher, uh, lecturer, and musician. Uh, she had the band Zuzu's Petals in the late 80s and 90s. Um, and they did quite well. They yeah, traveled they really a did. lot. They, they were really big in Europe. Um, yeah, and she was a, a really cool girl. You know, it's, I always love the juxtaposition of the flowery vintage dresses yes. and, and the boots and then screaming guitars, yeah. you know, or even sassy guitars, you know, so, so yeah, it, they were charming and, uh, and, uh, she was in the band with Colleen Elwood and Linda Pittman, who is now, um, in the baseball project. Um, and yeah. Yeah. And she, and she, she passed away just this last week. She passed away on Monday. It's good. Yeah. Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. On the first. So, so we are happy to think of her. Is, is the baseball project playing tonight? I believe they are playing tonight. Um, and I believe that's, uh, Linda and her, Partner Steve Wynn from the Dream Syndicate and Mike Mills and um, I don't know if Peter Buck's in there too. No. I, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, they're they're playing tonight. So it's it's very nice that. Um, yeah, that uh, Linda's going to be in Minneapolis now and can uh, regroup with yeah yeah so with Minnesota Minneapolis friends right it's nice it's nice for all involved mm -hmm. all right should we play Dork Magnet yeah and Zuzu's Petals absolutely <laughs> so that one second of silence you're like oh god what are you doing? <laughs> nice very nice selection No, we, um, so 
Jim Nyland, who um, uh, he's worked in Minneapolis government for a while and with the union. Um, he has um, dual citizenship in Ireland. Oh, okay. And back in 2000, um, he and his brother and his brother's girlfriend and his dad all traveled to Galway. Oh. And it coincided at the same time that Steve and I brought the kids over to Europe. Oh, fun. So we stayed in the same hotel in Galway. And we had um, we had an amazing time. However, Jim's brother, the day they landed, uh, his appendicitis burst. <gasps> His appendicitis burst, so he spent the whole time they were in Ireland in the hospital. He got discharged, and and then they got on the plane and came home. Not a bill. I was just going to ask, because it goes one way or the other. Yep. It's nothing. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this is Take Me to the Movies by the Toxines. Cool. Well, and I'll ask you about it when we're... Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I love that. Yeah, we had, because we lived there, because my, there were times where I was like, you go talk to them, they hear my accent, we may be in trouble. But she had, it was always, yeah. we had a little ambulance ride one time. Well, well, it turns out, this is when my kid is diagnosed with an asthma, but uh, we had taken the bus to the hospital. Yeah. But they're telling us, you have to go to the children's hospital. They tell, give us the address and they're giving us directions and, uh, we'll just, we're going to call a taxi and be like, oh, stop. We'll have an ambulance take you. <laughs> okay. Oh and so we're like, I'm taking pictures and the ambulance people are like, this is great. Nobody's ever this happy to be in it. Oh, uh, yeah. So were your girls already born or were they born over there? They're born here. All born here. Uh, I mean, back in the day, it was better to have Americans. <laughs> yeah. But they, well, the one who lives in Galway has her passport now. Her Irish passport, and the other one has her passport. Yeah, I tried to actually find on Spotify La Sassa. I was wondering, yeah. But I couldn't, so that's why I got the toxines. I think there used to be a couple songs, but I mean, the, a search is a search. It's not, but sometimes they take things off and put things on, but yeah. I, yeah. yeah. No, um, you, I mean, you have to make the effort to put it up there and it, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass and depending on which service you use you have to pay for it either yearly or like a one-time charge so it's it's oh, like a whole yeah. thing all for like point zero 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 <laughs> uh, reasons yeah but that's okay um but anyway so that that's what i originally looked for Sorry, and I have to do the call letters. Yep. That was the tax scenes with Take Me to the Movie on Mostly Minnesota Music on WMCN 91.7 FM and the beautiful McAllister College campus. I am here with Cindy Lawson, and she's picked out a few songs, including this last one by the Toxines. Mm -hmm. First, I have to say, yeah, to hear the laugh on Zuzu's pedals was mm -hmm. delightful. Yes. That is that is a nice, that's just nice, just nice to have. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. Tell, tell us the Toxines. Um, so I looked for uh, the Lassassins um, and was not able to find... Um, a link to their music. 
that we could play today. So the next best thing was the tax scenes, um, which is a partially local group. Um, one of the members lives in Nashville now and is in Thelma and the Sleaze, I oh, believe. Oh, okay, great. Um, but uh, Monet still lives here and she's in several bands. She's in the Spit Takes and Mad Mojo Jet. And, and I mean, it, it, are the spit takes playing tonight at Palmer's? They are. They They're are. I like to say the only that. females oh. on the bill. It's a huge sausage fest. Shh. So thank goodness. Yes. Thank goodness they have some yes, that's female good. That's good. representation. Okay. okay. Well, I know. There's nothing worse. We'll cheer loudest for spit takes. Yes. Yeah. Um. And before that, of course, was Dork Magnet, um, a delightful, a delightful song by, by Zuzu's Petals, which kind of, like, has that, uh, I can't believe I'm dealing with this kind of stuff, kind of theme to it, <laughs> which, you know, you kind of roll your eyes yeah. with your other female friends and you're like oh yeah well and I'm just gonna ask you without mm -hmm. without warning you how are things different how are how are they, and how are things the same as they would have been in and I remember 1985 I went to go see you and many of the bands back then but mm -hmm. as as a performer how are things different how are they the oh same? gosh um what I love now is that it is no big deal that there are so many women around. Also in support roles. Yeah. Yes. Um, sound and yeah. and Booking. stage managing yeah. and um and uh roadying and yeah and booking and everything. So it is now no big deal. Good. And and uh that's really cool because the last thing you want when you want people to pay attention to your music and not the fact that you're a woman is for people to make a big deal that oh it's right a bunch of girls right you know um so that's what i love now it's just that's, that's just the way it is people put bands together whether yeah. they're male or female or or non-binary yeah. or whatever yeah. if people have something to say that's what they should do you know yeah um i do see uh we have played in situations where we play with bands younger than us and the interaction in those kind of situations are um it seems to me a lot there's a lot less uninvited touching whereas <laughs> when we yeah. were we played with uh older bands so there was an older crowd and there was a lot of hands around the uh. waist that just come out of nowhere yeah. and you just kind of flinch a little bit yep. you know i was talking to Linnea Herzog, who yeah. from Linnea's Garden, and and she's you know thirty years younger than me, and she just laughed about it, and she's like, oh, I just hit them, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's like Good. it's you know Good. young Good. people now will yeah. not put up with that, yep. you know. Whereas I think I'm still in that like I can't believe I'm being touched yeah. without being at, and it's 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 not a sexual touch no. but it's like sliding yeah. around the waist and it's like i i i don't want it's unwanted yeah it's just it's unwanted it's, uh, you know it's better than a punch in the nose but yeah. both are unwanted <laughs> i mean i you know keep your grubby hands so too. that's yeah. that's okay. what i notice i know yeah. i i i am thrilled and excited and i love all the new stuff that's happening and all the really powerful women and non-binary uh, people yeah. who are just not going to take that kind of behavior. And they've just established 
this yeah. is how it's going to be. And, oh, and I love it. I have said on, on behalf of my own Gen X self, I'm like, thank you. Because I don't always have it in me. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But if that's not the way, mm-hmm. and sometimes you're just too tired. Yeah. Sometimes you're just like, ugh. Just, <laughs> just move on. All right. Let, more music. More music. Yes. Now we've got Georgia. Georgia Conley Raman. Um, Miss Georgia Peach. This is off her uh, Aloha, Kentucky album. And here we go. Okay. Thank you for that added bit, but I fit, you know, how was the... But, um, yeah. So, I mean, that, that was, I think things are so much better now. The only thing is that back in the 80s, obviously, there were less bands. Yes. Now there's... Hundreds yeah. and hundreds, you know, a yeah. um, gazillion yeah. bands. Right. Um, but there's more access to music. There were, I noticed this morning, um, somebody from Japan bought my music oh, amazing. off of um, Bandcamp, you know? And it's like, I mean, back, I mean, like, my husband, I'll tell you, when he was a kid, he used to send away to England for like, you yeah, know, the the um, uh, what's that one band, the um, Yardbirds and stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. Um, but I mean, now it's so easy. It's amazing. You can just find music anywhere. You can find your tribe anywhere. Yeah. So, you know, that's good. It's. In my 20s, I often moved to London, so, and I'd come home with, i try to come home, i really come home with tapes, I didn't trust myself with albums, but yeah. you know, yeah, and also you'd come in awesome, a whole swath of music, so if it were, if it wasn't at Northern Lights, mm-hmm. St. Paul person here, you, know, yeah. you weren't going to learn about it, you yeah. know, just, yeah. no, so it is nice, good. but it does make it, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot, um, I mean, they... They just keep saying over and over again how bad social media is for your brain. Um, but there's those advantages of kids being able to find their tribe. That, I think, is so, magical because, because there are all different sorts of people who just were dismissed for a long time or had to try to be people they weren't. Just in terms of if all you love in the world is trains, there's someone... Who's happy to talk trains with you? Yeah. All day. You know, I just. Yes. And you know what? It might not be your mom. Yeah. <laughs> your brother maybe just had enough of your damn trains. You know, I, I I like that aspect of it very much. Yeah. Especially, it's one thing to be in the cities, but in a rural area. Did you just want to go into my? Yeah, sorry. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Um. So yeah. The uh, uh, yeah, so that's and and you know if if you know what you're doing, you can make all kinds of content <laughs> that yeah. that people can see. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's still a big learning curve for me, but it's know. a learning curve for everybody. One of the weird things I did for a long time was a lot of digital training for and sometimes I would teach people who were in their 20s how to use social media for marketing wow now I they could teach me a bunch about how to better tag people but it was much more about the marketing of it right like what it, you got to think about what's the message here yeah and is that is that on brand and is that right but so every it's it's because it's new it's new for everyone yeah yeah it's yeah, that is what I learned. Oh, yeah. It's... Oh, you know, the one thing about Lori Lindine is that, you know, she was a writer. And that day on the 1st, I had posted on Facebook kind of a WTF about there was, uh, it said, John Waters Baltimore. Possessive. 
yeah. you know, his Baltimore. So it had John Waters as yeah. apostrophe S. Oh, and to double me, it yeah. looked insane. Yeah. And I'm like, this is crazy. So I took a screenshot and I posted it. And of course, all these... You know, all these people I know who are writers, you know, go, well, you know, that's one of the accepted I, ways. And she was one of the people who weighed in that same day. Oh. You know, and so it was just like, I heard, you know, I think we all heard about it the next day. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, you know. Oh, it was just devastating. Like, I'm sorry for your loss. And that's, I've got nothing else but, yeah. For everybody. Yeah. But, um, but no, yeah, there's, uh, you have to be really selective about what you put up on social yes. media. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, I put a post up and I just mentioned in it that I'm 62. I didn't say today's my birthday oh, or anything. Yeah. And everybody said happy birthday. And it was just like, oh my God. Read the whole tweet. Yeah. <laughs> people, All 240 characters. Yeah. People are so sweet because that's their automatic. Yeah. Oh, that happy is very, you know. So, I mean, that's kind of sweet. But it was just like, oh my God. We have to learn to read the whole tweet. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy Lawson with the girl. We have Cindy in studio. Hello. Tell us about that song. I just think that's... Yeah, I... That is one of the songs off the um, 2022 release, New Tricks, um, recorded with Steve Price. Um, it... I, I was really going for something different than than what I normally do and you know just adding you know yeah. I kind of wanted that um Beatles ticket to ride yeah. kind of sound most of them used to like the, almost a Tracy Ullman not yeah. quite as boppy as it but yeah yeah couple, yeah um and before that was uh Miss Georgia Peach uh who is an amazing singer she can do it all Georgia Conley Raman, she's got BB Galini, which is um, uh, like 60s yeah. beat music, and then Short Fuses is like metal, and, um, and then, you know, Miss Georgia Peach is her country, um, country persona, and yeah, she's yeah. so talented, she can do it all. And I feel like I see her performing where's Bibi Galini around yeah. here. Yeah. And around here might be the yep. qualifying. Um, yeah. Short Fuses has played less and less um, most recently. Um, and yes, Bibi Galini is more, uh, they've done more shows, you know, here. her. Yep. Thank you for bringing in for Thank awesome, you. awesome yeah. musician. So. We're gonna now we're going back to kissing, kissing songs. Kissing songs. Yep, and I gotta re oh, kiss the tiger with grown ass woman. But first, I'm gonna say that kiss the tiger's got a number of shows coming up, but July 26th at the Minnesota Zoo. That is the one, and yeah, here we go. Nice. <laughs> 